What's up, everybody? My name is Dell. This is Dell on Movies. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you've been here before, thanks for hanging out with me again. And today we just got a bit of a haul for you. I was hanging out in, the, in those cheap spots that I like to hang out in sometimes. Uh, we got some Dollar Tree titles and we got some thrift store titles. Uh, let's just not beat around the bush and let's just get right to it. The first few titles are from Dollar Tree. And this first one is The Curse of La Reona. Again, if I'm saying that correctly let me know i don't speak spanish but uh, all my friends who do just let me know this is part of the conjuring universe and i'm slowly but surely getting all those movies in the in that universe i'm not actively out there seeking for them but when i come across them cheap like this i go ahead and grab them so again a buck 25 a dollar tree hard to beat that uh same price of course for the next few titles and this was another one that got a lot of acclaim over the last year or two and that's vfw i haven't seen this one yet so i'm looking forward to checking it out and this one i have seen and i did have a fun time with that one that was dom cruise and jack reacher and this is i haven't watched the tv show if anybody's watched the tv show i know he's not in it but let me know how you like it i haven't had a chance to see it yet and my last dollar tree title is this one right here what men want uh this is a pseudo remake of what women want the movie that mel gibson starred in some time back uh i have seen this one not a big big fan of it my wife is more of a fan of it so i went ahead and grabbed it for again buck 25 why not the rest of these titles were all from a thrift store and the first one is a dvd upgrade so i have it on dvd and now i have it on blu-ray so i'm going to get rid of that and that's the secret life of bees uh queen latifah jennifer hudson um, is that Dakota Fanning? Yeah, Dakota Fanning, Sophie Okanito, o o Alicia Keys. So it's got a pretty great cast. It's a pretty solid movie as well. Uh, check it out if you have not. Uh, the next one is a documentary. I'm not huge into buying documentaries. I do have a few, uh, but this is one I wanted to have. And again, for the price, I couldn't pass it up. It was three bucks at this thrift store for all these Blu-rays. And this is March of the Penguins. Of course, Morgan Freeman does the amazing narration, won an Oscar with this one. The next title is going to cause me to do a little bit of a rant. And not because of the movie itself, but because of the way the movie, way I got the movie. Let me put it that way. I can't complain too much because I did buy it. I did bring it home with me. But the problem was wherever this movie came from, uh, they put a bunch of tape all over it. So the movie is The Queen of Katwe, really solid Disney movie uh, about a young girl who is a pr chess prodigy. Uh, she would tell Edgy of Four, who you can barely, can't see on the front, uh, but he's right here. He takes up being her uh, mentor and chess coach and mom, played by Lupita Nyong'o, uh, is uh, not too happy with this because this is taken away from the girl's other responsibilities and seems like a pipe dream. Uh, but it is a, a pretty solid movie. Now, the problem is, as you can see, this is a, did, I did find it with a slip color cover. There was tape going from about here all the way over the top and all the way down past this section here. So tape went all the way down to here on the back. And you might have already seen it, uh, but I, I pulled it off before starting this video just so i can actually show you this um did an okay job on the front i'm gonna put it up close to the camera i'm not sure if you can see where there are a couple of white spots where a little bit of the artwork came off so i did okay on the front on the back i was not as fortunate uh, right up here at the top over here you can see it really starting to peel or almost be peeled off by the tape as i was trying to get it off on the back and then the bigger issue is, it looks like it's going to be this right here and i'm pointing over here not necessarily at the label because tape is i don't know if you can see that but there's tape that runs around the corner here all the way across the front all the way around this other corner and about that far let me let me see where i can oh no it runs all the way across all the way back here so I'm going to have to try to peel that off or leave it with this big giant sticker on it. This is not from the thrift store that I bought it from. Uh, this is, again, wherever they had it before. Uh, Kids Exchange in what it, is what it says. And if I am 
successful peeling this tape off without damaging the art, then fine. If I am not also fine, I'll just have to toss the slipcover. And I know some of you guys are just bristling at the notion of me having to actually throw away a slipcover. But hey, it is what it is. Pay three bucks for it. If I get the slip to keep the slip, great. This next one I am going to get to keep the slip cover for. And that is Secret Life of Pets 2. And this one is a really nice slip cover. Actually, it's got the artwork is pretty cool. But when you run your hands over it, you get all sorts of embossing going on there. And it's a pretty solid movie. Also, I do like the Secret Life movies. So that is all but one pickup. I have one more left. And this one is an absolute steal. Um, at the thrift shop, when you walk in, you get to the physical media section. They have this little bitty shelf. A uh, little bitty bookshelf that's maybe three feet high, and it's got a few shelves on it, and only the top shelf has movies on it. It has Blu-rays. The rest of it has uh, video games, and then there are these long bookcases next to that, bigger than anything I have back here. I mean, they're they're like six foot wide. They're like two of my bookshelves here put together and there's a couple of them and then they go floor to ceiling pretty much. So they're like six, seven feet tall. So there's lots of DVDs there. And this is a Blu-ray, but it wasn't with the Blu-rays. It was just kind of sitting over in front of those DVDs. And I was scanning through them because I wanted to see was there were there any that I missed or were there any titles over there that were just DVD that didn't have a Blu-ray release that I was interested in. And I kind of scanned all the way through it. I actually found the Secret Life of Pets 2 over there. And went back and just looked at the Blu-ray section one last time before I left. Didn't see anything, but just happened to turn my head to that very first section on that large DVD bookshelf. And this was just sitting there. The top of it is damaged a little bit. I picked it up, looked. It's definitely a Blu-ray. And I was okay with that. Because I don't have this at all. It's not even a movie. It's actually a TV miniseries. And that is Band of Brothers. And this nice uh, tin set. Again, the front's got some damage to it. It's dented up here at the top. It's kind of indented the whole top really a, a little bit. And, and then down here at the bottom, there's some dents also. Uh, but again, once I put it on the shelf, it's hardly ever going to come off. So I'm okay with that. And uh, but I wasn't sure what the price was going to be. I took it up to the register. The guy, he uh, starts to hold it in his hand. He's just looking around at it and he just looks over here where the Blu-ray symbol is. He just to see if it's a Blu-ray or a DVD. And he charged me the same as he charged me for the other Blu-ray. So he gave me this entire set for three bucks. And that made me very happy when I was walking out the store. So. That means I got this entire haul for uh, 20 bucks, including the Band of Brothers box set. So that is a uh, that's a big score for me. Uh, let me know how I did. Let me know if there's anything that you guys picked up. Um, let me know anything you're looking forward to picking up. And that's all I really have for you on this one, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.